everybody what's going on welcome back to the channel so y'all really are enjoying the videos that i'm putting out with the taurus gx4 so uh, i'm gonna keep it rolling man uh this time i'm gonna show like a disassemble video because uh one of the subscribers had a question about that and you know on this channel man we like to you know keep it real you know try to inform everybody to the best of my ability so um yeah man and the taurus actually breaks down really cool you can either use the tool that it comes with or you can use a um uh, like a cash shell you can just find like a brass casing or something like that to twist it but uh, I would recommend that you use the tool that comes with it because I have scratched the little uh, <laughs> the little screw, so it's fine. But let's get into this, man. As you know, Taurus comes in the hard case. This is almost like another uh, double unboxing. <laughs> All right, here's the firearm here. Taurus, Let me put it this way. Yeah, there we go. Taurus GX4 with the 13 round mag and a correction, so Let's move this to the side. So correction about this, these um, these sights are not fixed. So if you wanna go ahead and change these out, you can. They're, uh, you can change them out with any Glock sight because that's kind of the, just like the blueprint for everything. So uh, if you have any like Glock sights that you wanna put on here, you can do that too. So um, yep, as you can see, it's clear. I'm gonna drop the mag. It's still clear. I'm gonna pump it for y'all boys because that's how y'all are. Y'all like to see everything. There we go. Cool, clear. It's ready to go. So, yep, yeah, here's the magazine, but we're gonna talk about breaking it down. So, here it is, man. Torch GX4, subcom subcompact, micro compact, really uh, shoots well, handles well. Only one issue with the um, with the firing, but I think that's because I was riding the slide the slide release, so it didn't lock back, but. Eh, who cares? I mean, it's it fired well. It shot everything that I gave it at 400 rounds of brass. Crazy, man. So um, in order to break this thing down, you do have to pull the trigger, right? That pretty much like disengages everything. You see right here, it's not like the Glock where you can just pull it pull down with the little, the um, I forget what they call them, like the little tabs, but you do have to use a tool to twist it and then it releases it. So I'm gonna put that here. And let's pull out the tool. So <laughs> this is what everybody's talking about, man. This, <laughs> this little tool right here. You can put this on your keys, man. Let everybody know that you're toting the pole. Like, it's crazy, but let me see. Yeah, you see? Let me bring it up close. It's kind of hard to, to make it out, but it has a little torus. So it's literally like a like a um like a replica of the GX4. It has a GX4 branding right there. Hopefully you can see. I know it has like a shadow I'm trying to get in the light. But it's crazy, man. It's the exact same, right? <laughs> but the tool is on the bottom. So that's how you're able to twist the uh the little screw right here. So that's what we're gonna do right here, right now. So let's see if I can show it to the camera. It's hard to do this stuff on camera, man. Yeah, so this way, I believe. Yep, and you see that? It comes right off. Easy, so I think this is what the subscriber had a question about. So right here, it's the full, I forget what they call it. Um, it's like full, uh, full rails, so it's not like half rails. It's full slide rails, so I guess it helps with the um trying to see what he what he said in the video it helps with like recoil and just like the, the stability of the pistol so yeah it's full rails there it's a little dirty y'all <laughs> got 400 rounds through that bad boy but um yep this is the bottom and this is the top right so it's almost it's exactly like glock so it has a spring here it looks like a um let me get it off here it looks like a double spring to help with the recoil. So it has like the one spring and then uh, another set right here. You see that? So the recoil is really, it's really good to say it's so small. And then you have that three inch barrel right here. So really, really, really easy. And then the slide. So that's gonna be it completely completely broken down. You can break it down from the inside and everything like that, and you can break the slide down, but we're not doing that. You, don't, you only have to do that every once in a now, now again, but I mean, you don't have to do that anytime soon. 
But yeah, man, that's it. it. Has your trigger grouping right here. Everything in the back. I mean, it's really straightforward. So if you want to teach somebody also how, um, I guess how a pistol will work if you want to like take it all the way apart. I think this whole grouping comes out. You just have to take, take apart the spring in here and then it should come out. Yeah, the trigger grouping is in there as well. So yeah, but um, yeah, man, it's, it's really easy. So for putting it back together, take the slide, take the barrel, put it back in there and make sure everything's tight. Fingers are getting dirty. <laughs> Put our spring back in there, recoil spring. Hopefully you can see that. It's hard to do it on camera. There we go. Yep, so that's that part. And then you just put the two parts together. You line the, the rails up with the slide, one pull, and there it is. It's, it's back, it's back. So it's really easy for someone that's never had to deal with a firearm to actually understand pretty much everything that you need. So, I mean, if this is like your standard, just breaking down a firearm, like even breaking it down for the range or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really, it's really simple. And if you want to use a casing and not the tool, you can just use a spent casing right here from the range. Do the same thing. You have to make sure you pull the trigger. You're gonna put the, the end there. I wouldn't recommend this because it does scratch it up, but I'm pretty good at it now. Look, watch it go forward. You see that? You don't even have to force it. It just goes. And then there it is. So, yeah, man. Taurus GX4. They're making it really easy. It's an affordable weapon. It's easy to shoot. 11 rounds, 13 rounds with the magazine comes in a hard case i mean there's nothing you could really say bad about it now they have had a few of them that have had like quality issues so like a lot of people are having trigger trigger problems so uh, whatever with the trigger some some people are pulling it and then they try to reset it and it doesn't reset because it is a it's not a, it's not like a double i forget what it's called where you could just keep pulling the trigger like if you have a misfire so you do have to tap and rack if you want to uh, fire again if it has issues but um yeah some people were having issues with the blade and stuff it's just like not i guess not going in as smooth as mine let's see if i can show you yeah so you have to take that up with taurus because once you buy it from the menu uh from like academy or in my case primary arms then they're not responsible anymore. <laughs> so you have to take it up with Taurus. But they're really good. They have the, the lifetime warranty on these. So just send it back to them, man. They should get back to you. But yeah, y'all, that's just a that's just a little quick video on the Taurus GX4. Let me know what y'all want to see next on the channel, man, because uh, y'all really are loving this weapon. And I have another video that I'm going to put out really soon that you're going to enjoy. So um, yeah, the Taurus GX4, one of the hot one of the hot items on the market right now. Micro compact, anybody can shoot it. Easy to take apart, put back together. Just if you're trying to understand firearms, something that's not too intimidating, even though a Glock's not intimidating or a SIG or anything else. This is small. It's easy to rack. Uh, I would say it's one of the easier ones to rack because it has a little bit of, like, uh, not, not really, because once those serrations get into your thumb, it's not that hard, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is about as easy as it's gonna get, unless you're gonna go to the um, the Smith & Wesson Easy, or the 380 or the nine millimeter. You could do that, but the price, it's all about the price, y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for like, comment, and subscribing. Y'all, the channel's going completely crazy, so keep showing love, man. We keep putting out these videos, these gameplays, and all that. Maybe some more challenges coming later. I don't know. Some more range footage for sure. But uh, thanks, thanks a lot, everybody. And just like that, we out. Peace.